information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Welcome to Moving and Motivating Radio. I am moved and motivated by this book titled Braxton's Century, written by Jerry Stravey. Oh, let me tell you how to spell Jerry's name. Stravey, S-T-R-A-Y-V-E. Jerry Stravey. You're here at WSRadio.com to promote your wonderful book, Braxton's Century. And people can get the first chapter just by... Uh, in their browser, worldwideweb.braxtonscentury.com and get that first chapter. And also uh, choose what the cover of the book is going to look like. Uh, and now you've achieved your dream. You wrote your book. Now what about some of these listeners who feel they've got a book in them? Do you have any advice for them? Well, the first thing I'd say is get that book out of you. In other words, <laughs> get to work. Start uh, keyboarding it in or if you do longhand, whatever it is that will get you going, do it. It's so important to get the book out of you. And what I did, as I mentioned um, in another segment, is I had a little bit of a anxiety a moment. I said, I have got to get this book out. I just started keyboarding away and I went at it and at it and at it. And 142,000 words later, it was done. And then... I went back and had to make the grammatical and the syntax corrections and what have you. So get it out of you. And everything else will take care of itself after that, actually. Well, that's not true because you've worked very hard for that other stuff. You know, you're using a lot of social media and right. you're uh, uh, even kickstarting and crowdsourcing. Right. Right. Uh, tell us about that. Okay, so the first thing I had to do was find out how to publish a book. Um, I'm not going to say the easy part was writing the book, but it was something that I was comfortable with. Now I'm out there trying to get this book out and get it read, and I had to uh, spend a lot of time doing research on how to publish this. I had to decide was I going to publish it myself or was I going to put it out there for publishers. And it took a, a lot of research, frankly. I spent a lot of time uh, with uh, YouTube and Google, reading things. I ordered books online and read them. make a long story short, I took the route of self-publishing only in that uh, I wanted to have control of what was going on. And I felt that uh, I, I could get my baby out there and, and do a good job if I had the right team. And so I went out selecting a team to help me uh, work on it. And some of the things that I, we came up with was finding a self-funding, uh, 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 a crowdfunding source. Uh, and I happened to use Publishizer.com. doesn't mean that they're the one that you should choose, but it was the one that I chose. And it was a lot of work uh, going in there. Uh, you can actually go to my website and get linked to Publishizer uh, and see where I have the uh, crowdfunding site. But um, if you go to www dot braxtons dot com you will see a uh, clickable uh, button that will take you directly to the crowdfunding site where you can pre-order a book you can pre-order the audio the ebook or the uh, actual book itself and get some, get a really really good value for a small amount of money and be part of the publishing process because because of people like you this book will become a reality now another thing I wanted to talk about if you don't mind is um, you will spend a lot of time on social media. I spend uh, an hour or so every day going out and publish, uh, you know, posting things about the book. You've got to get it out there. The whole idea is you must get people interested. And by that, have them coming to your site, gathering their emails so you can keep them updated and excited about what's going on. And, you know, you gave them the first chapter. Mm -hmm. You've got them involved by potentially picking the cover, mm -hmm. you're going to give them a second chapter. Right, right. And uh, you're actually wanting input from them, too. Yes, yes. Um, it's very easy to respond. In other words, if you've read the first chapter, you go to the bottom of the website and you can get in touch with us uh, at info at braxtoscentury.com, but it's in there. You just click it and go. Definitely want feedback because, uh, you know, the way this book is received and how it moves forward is dependent on does it entertain and uh, touch the reader. And that's what it's all about. And the only way we know that is if you get back in touch with us. And it's easy for them to get in touch with you because it's all just clickable if you prefer, uh, you know, in Pinterest or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter uh, or this other site that I don't know about, Holiness. It's just a yeah. clickable and that's right. how y you can uh, 
get in touch with you and get more involved with the book. Right. Part of the fun I've been having with this, too, is I've uh, been sending out pictures of uh, different things that are relevant during this 100-year period of Braxton's century, trying to get people excited about it. And what a 100 years it was, 1860 to 1960. Yes, a lot going on there. Think about this. When this book starts, people's uh, main source of light was either a lantern or a candle. The most efficient form of transportation was on horseback. When this book draws to a close, you've got man getting ready to go into outer space. I mean, what a century when you think about it. And your protagonist, the, the title character, uh, wasn't just a lazy royal. This is He's a real entrepreneur, a real visionary, uh, uh, um, everything from an, an, a real industrialist. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? The neat thing about it, as you'll see, as you've seen in the first chapter, he was just precocious. And what he basically needed to do was get this excellent mind he had and this ambition and target it. And there's other characters in there that teach him how to do that. Yes, when you're when you're going to set fire to the castle, you do you, you really do need to um, f- find something else to more constructive to do. That's yes, that's that's very very true. Um, very true. Now, we had a chance to talk briefly before airtime about what your next book is, and it, it's kind of a, a follow through from this one. Yes, uh, the next book is actually a trilogy, and what it does is it picks up where uh, Braxton Century leaves off. And it's pretty exciting because the name of this book is called Millennial Moguls Unhinged. So that would be the next one. The next, it's the trilogy. Now, and within that trilogy, there are three books. One of them is called Foundations. The second one is Phoenix Ascending. And the third is... More fire. Yeah, more fire. It's uh, <laughs> uh, Crescendo. Uh, it's really exciting because uh, the millennials play a big part of that. And... Uh, I mean, Braxton's century is just the beginning of some uh, rather exciting things. And uh, when you, you picture this trilogy ending, what year are we in, do you think? Uh, the trilogy will probably end about now, uh, maybe in the next two or three years. Um, it's um, something that will really appeal to today's generation because it uh, acquaints them with uh, the foundation of how they got to, how the millennials became who they are, and it takes the the incredible talent and uh, abilities of the millennials, and they go a little crazy. So if people feel they have a book in them, they just need to write it. They need to get it out. Okay. And your success was that you didn't worry so much about all the grammar, and you just started writing. Yes. And then you started yes. fixing things later. Yes, yes. And, but you also found a team to, to help you, who, who's who's helping you with well, publishing um, this? Right now, I'm working with a group called um, a Calling Card Books. Uh, they are in Sacramento, um, and uh, Marta and uh, Kate are uh, a mother daughter team that have got an incredible experience in the publishing business. They're indie publishers, and uh, it's been very exciting for me to work with them. Very exciting. They they've been very patient and understanding and. I'm just lucky to have found them. Now, it costs money to yes. produce a book. And what are some novel things you're doing to make sure that that happens, make sure that the well, book uh, gets out? Well, I'm trying to get the word out and because we, you know, we've got this, uh, uh, this kind of a GoFundMe, crowdfunding, whatever you want to call it, uh, site that you can link to from my uh, webpage and pre-order. That money is, uh, goes to the costs of the publishing because, you know, there are a lot of costs such as it, it costs two to $4,000 to get the editing, content editing. I'm a great writer. I can tell a story, but I'm going to tell you what, if I don't have an editor, it's just not going to make it, okay? So the, the content editing is huge. And um, everyone has an editor, don't they? They better. Yeah. Um, and then you've got to uh, – there's so much more involved in. You've got to have, you know, websites. You've got the social media costs. You've got to get the word out. You have marketing costs. And it can be really expensive. Um, so, But fortunately, I'm working with a team. We're trying to keep those costs in line. And because I've had some success with the pre-orders, um, I'm looking forward to the book coming out uh, uh, June, middle of June, at the latest. And, and the easiest way to pre-order is just to, on your browser, uh, on the World Wide Web, braxtonscentury.com. And then you're able just to maneuver within there to 
pre-order a book. Or, yes. You know, the, the site to pre-order is much yes. longer, yes. string of characters, but you just click. Right. And if they want to get in touch with you, uh, they can also just click, whether it's Facebook or right. Instagram. Um, and you've got some fun covers that they can choose from mm-hmm. for suggestions of... Uh, right. We, uh, we, you, if you scroll down on the web page, you'll see where they can vote for which themes that they want on there. Now, remember, it takes close for 100 years, so you'll see a disparity in covers. and We might take a combination of s- different themes and put them together. On the you cover. might have to. You might have to. And what you... And then, then there's... A, after this comes a trilogy that's in your head. Right. Uh, but this book has been an inspiration for that trilogy yes, as well. Yes, I figured, okay, I've got this incredible foundation laid. All right, how can we relate to today? And there's always themes in these books. It's really important to look for the themes, and I want to just let you know the basic theme in Braxton Century is each one of us have incredible gifts. It's important that these gifts be manifested, and the way they are manifested is just living your life authentically, being true to yourself, not being concerned about others and what they think, but what is going to make your life the most meaningful and authentic. So I would encourage you to read this book. You'll be surprised how some of these characters are manifested. And you've got to make time to write that book. You got forced into having all that time, but... Look what you have to show for it. Yes, Excellent. I'm grateful. Very grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jerry Stravey. Thank you. Rhymes with gravy. Jerry <laughs> Stravey. Thank you for having me. Braxton's Century. Mm. And the website is braxtonscentury.com. of presentations with no impact, no inspiration, and no traction? Do dull speakers have you and your team disengaged and distracted by smartphones? Christopher McAuliffe brings energy, insights, and two decades of experience delivered with punch, humor, and heart. Your team will leave energized, uplifted, and with a sense of purpose. Visit ChristopherMcAuliffe.com to bring some heat to your next speaking engagement. M-C-A-U-L-I-F-F-E ChristopherMcAuliffe.com In the military, things can change in an instant. Your personal life is just the same. Just like you protect our country, you want your family protected. That's why thousands of military members trust Navy Mutual Life Insurance. Navy Mutual is nonprofit, providing current and former Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard families with life insurance, no sales fees, and no military service restrictions. Protecting members on active duty and beyond. Call 1-800-628-6011. 800-628-6011. NavyMutual.org. Insuring those who serve. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the coaches training program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. Kenja Dixon was crowned the number one sales executive through hard work, deep thinking, and the revelation of universal talk laws. He now wants to share these lessons with you. Universal talk laws are what you need to know and use in business and at home to have successful and effective conversations. Kenji Dixon shares his wisdom, action plans, and wealth. Each book comes with a chance to win $10,000. Find universal talk laws at KenjaDixon.com. 
On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5, starrepmarketing.com. 